Hey guys, it's wonderful to see you and to hear from you guys lately. I hear that the first chat today went really well and that's awesome. Alright, so this program is from my city planners class uh, that happens on a Wednesday. This uh, activity was taken from that. So what we're going to make today is postcards for Alberta tourism. Now I don't know if there's anybody better to do this task than you guys because I know you've been all over Alberta and ex have experienced the wonderful tourist attractions that there are so I don't know who would be better for this task than you guys. You need a pencil, a sharpie if you have one, some scrap paper, some nice paper, um, a pair of scissors, and an eraser and a sharpener I guess. Alright, so your first step is I need you to make a couple illustrations from your head or from another resource like the internet if you want to look up your tourist attraction. I need you to make a couple illustrations about it because it's going to be on the front of our postcard. So make a couple different illustrations and decide which one you like best. Alright, so I'll only show you one picture, but this is a drawing I did of the National Music Center. The, uh, my choice that I made to make my postcard about. So that's the drawing I did for it. Second thing I need you guys to do is to think about what font you're going to do your title in. And the title is of course the name of the place of the tourist attraction. So to learn a little bit about font today, so we make the perfect font for our tourist attraction, um, I'll give you what the defini definition is. A font is a combination of typeface and other qualities such as size, pitch, and spacing. So first, size the size of your chosen font. So maybe you're writing like this big or like this little, okay? And then pitch. Pitch is like the size of the different letters and different widths. So maybe you have a W that's like this, or maybe you have a W that's like this. So it's just the size of the letter that you're doing and the width of it too. And the last one is spacing. So the spacing between the words. So maybe you have like a, to spell my name. It'd be J, whoa, huge space, A, huge space, N, huge space, E, huge space. All right, so that's a little bit about font, but this is when you guys can get a little creative. So let's say you're doing a Banff National Park. Maybe you'd make a mountains a big part of your typeface, and that just comes down to how creatively you can incorporate that. Here's an example of my titles I made for the Ma National Music Center, of course, with the theme being music. Here we are. All right, awesome. So now that you've done that, and maybe now you can take that time to sketch your perfect title page with the theme of the place that you're doing it on. And after you've done that, here is a bonus activity, okay? So you don't have to do this for your postcard, but I think it makes the postcard look a little better. So I want you to write one sentence, just one, about why you enjoyed the place. So maybe you'd be like, hmm, Jasper National Park was so much fun to climb the mountains. Or uh, maybe for the zoo, it would be like, uh, my favorite part was the panda bears, or go for the panda bears, okay? So I need you to think of one sentence about one thing that you enjoyed about your, uh, your time at the tourist attraction. So I made this mind map to kind of help visualize how you would make that sentence. Alright, so once you've done the sentence, I want you to try to do it in your typeface that you did for your title page. See how well that works, and if it doesn't work, you can just do the sentence in like a little bit smaller writing, however you'd like on your postcard. Alright, you guys, so now here the real fun starts. Now we can actually start working on our postcard, okay? Okay, so your paper should be about this size. Normal size is a postcard, unless of course this is you doing it home, so you can make it whatever size you'd like to, okay? I just started with this size of paper. And now I encourage you as step one to start illustrating your card, okay? So maybe you uh, start with pencil and you start with your illustration right in the middle, okay? That's what I did. So I did the illustration in the middle and then I moved on to doing my title. Now keep in mind this is all in pencil, right? Because you want to be able to erase any mistakes you might have made. And then I put my sentence at the bottom. So 
so as far as a rough copy it's pretty good I just want all those parts incorporated unless you chose not to do the sentence okay perfect so now I shall show you my final copy that I just finished right now all right here it is what do you think just kidding I know that this isn't like a talk back and forth medium but you could try just to as a conversation anyway so this is my final copy it has the National Music Center all right here as you can see I took some creative liberties with it as we know the National Music Center doesn't look exactly like this and that's totally fine because I really encourage you guys to be as creative as you can be so for my uh, font I chose to do the National Music Center but with a bunch of music notes in the inside and then just a nice cursive throughout and then my sense is of course where music rocks um, and then that's it there's my final postcard try to make it as colorful as you want take as much time as you need on it and then on the back I wrote just like a nice note to my aunt who I will send it to and I'm going to include a stamp and uh, just I just said wish you were here I learned so much at the music, National Music Center. Anyway, you guys, so that's the end of the activity. But I re oh, never mind. This part is so important. So do you see how these edges up top are curved, smooth and curved? You'll find a lot of the postcards sometimes do that. And this is an optional step, but I enjoy doing it. I want you to cut just so that there's no corner on it. I need it to be a soft, gentle curve, OK? So now you can see all the edges are soft. Alright, again, that's the end. Have fun thinking about all the good times you've had at Prospect going to the different tourist attractions. And I want you guys to really be creative for this one because I want to be able to see them, so don't throw them away either. Okay? And I will look forward to seeing you guys on chat on Friday as this is Tuesday. Um, but yeah, thanks for paying attention to my long video and really enjoy yourselves while you're making it. Thank you.